Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Ford. Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, 919-ALL-FOURS. Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Carolina Insider. And man, do we have a great show for you today. Of course, we're going to look back at that shootout in Keenan Stadium, 56-45, the Tar Heels top Virginia Tech, the most points ever Carolina has scored against Virginia Tech, more than 600 yards of offense, nearly 400 yards rushing. What a day for the Tar Heels in Keenan Stadium. So we're going to look back at the win. We have a conversation with Jackie Manuel. You know Jackie, of course, member of the 2005 National Championship team for Carolina basketball. Jackie now back in Chapel Hill as a member of the women's basketball staff. We'll talk to Jackie about that. We have our social drive and more. But let's start things off with first half highlights from Saturday and Carolina's win over Virginia Tech. Howell a perfect four for four thus far. This time keeps it on the ground. Javante Williams, good yardage up the gut and tripped down over the 35. Boy, he looked like he was shot out of a cannon there and picks up 15 yards just going straight ahead through a big hole in that offensive line. And first and 10 from the 20. Hand off to Carter. Carter at the 15. Carter at the 10 spun down at about the 5. It'll be a gain of 16 on the ground to the Hokie four. He will turn and hand it to Javante Williams, who is in for the touchdown. 11 plays, the heels march down the field for 75 yards and a score. Second and 10, play action, another quick throw. This one's complete. It is Newsom middle of the field at the 40. Newsom bouncing off tacklers into Virginia Tech territory on the near side at the 45. How long time to throw, going for the deep ball. Deami Brown, end zone. He has it, did he get his feet down? He sure did on the back line. Touchdown, Carolina. The Tar Heels have been thirsting for that big play. We'll pour it right down the gullet. Burmeister in the shotgun. Tar Heels rush four, Burmeister has time. Now he's gonna scramble out. Gimmel, boy, like a rocket, comes and chops him down as Burmeister scrambled far sideline, well short of the first down. That closing speed, woo, it'll make your heart beat fast. You know, Lee, in looking back, I think Carolina did this on their last drive as well. Okay. So I think this is back-to-back -back drives with that offensive line set up. Howe finds a streaking Javante Williams on the near numbers as Carolina goes right to left. Williams wrangled down from behind in Virginia Tech territory at the 43. As Howe sets up in the shotgun, he will play action. Rush coming, Hal gets out of there and he's running. He'll, oh my goodness, sliding down. He has taken a huge shot by Chamari Connor as Hal slid to the ground and four or five flags come in. Connor just an unnecessary shot up to the head area of Hal as he slid. On the Virginia Tech 14 yard line, excuse me, 19 yard line after the run and the personal. They'll hand off to Javante Williams, steps through a tackle. Javante, 15, 10, 5, give him six more. Touchdown, Carolina. And two, two more broken tackles there, Jones. Uh, Javante Williams, number two in the country last year in percentage of times he broke yards after contact for five yards or more. But the heels keep it on the ground, Michael Carter. Carter left side, steps through a tackle at the 40, pounds through a couple of Hokies over the 35 to the 33. They keep it on the ground with Carter. Slithers through left side, Carter 25, 20 to the far sideline, 15, 10, taken down at the five. Richard Ashby saves the touchdown for Virginia Tech. Quick screen pass coming near side, Newsom. It's a foot race to the pylon, Newsom somersaults in for the touchdown. Newsom with his first score of the year to give Carolina the two touchdown lead. What an answer by the Tar Heels, Jones. Just this momentum seemed to be slipping a little bit away. A couple quick scores by Virginia Tech. The offense comes down and answers with exactly what it needed to here in the latter part of the second quarter. Burmeister waiting in the shotgun. 
Play clock at 10, and he is going to get the snap and go for it over the middle and complete. Chapman and Morrison defending on the play. Tried to get it to Trey Turner in the slot left side. Ball on the 43. How the play action. Has time to go deep. He's going to try and do it. Down the far sideline. Brown in the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Deami Brown beat his defender, Jermaine Waller, and puts for the second time today, six on the board. And Carolina with a pretty impressive first 30 minutes. 186 yards rushing, 186 yards passing, and 35 points on the board. Heels up 21 at the break. 2020 has been the year of the unthinkable and millions of Americans are struggling to put food on the table. So Wells Fargo is helping our neighbors feed their loved ones, using some of our locations as drive-up food banks, and helping provide 50 million meals for Americans in need. The unthinkable has happened. Now it's time to rethink how to make a difference. Wells Fargo. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. It's Ford Truck Month. And if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to $10,765 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat, and like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever, and your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Tar Heels took a 35-14 lead into the halftime locker room and looked like they were going to stretch this one out to a blowout midway third quarter. But then Virginia Tech pushed back and made it a little tighter. Carolina answered, though, and was able to secure the victory. Let's see highlights from the second half and then postgame reaction as well from Coach Brown and some Tar Heel players. Quick little pitch near side to Javante Williams. A lot of yards near side over the 30. Cuts back from tiptoeing on the sideline. Carrying about eight Hokies with him down to the 16-yard line. Javante Williams, he showed speed, then he showed patience, then he showed power all in one run. How? Hands it to Carter, stretching right side. Now he cups up the field. He's at the 10, weaving through Hokies. Are you kidding me? Give him six. Holy smokes. The heels just run right through Virginia Tech for the touchdown. 75 yards and six plays all on the ground. Again, a back on either side of Hal. He'll hand it off to Carter, trying to stretch it to the far side. Gets away from the Hokies. Shakes a tackle from Ashby down the far sideline and pushed out of bounds over the 35. Boy, good, just pure speed from Carter. Javante Williams, the back in the game, gets the quick pitch near side. Has some blockers in front. He's at the 30, 25, 20. Car or excuse me, Williams crosses the 15. Good blocks in front by Walston. Also Corrales to help Williams free. 
Powell in the traditional shotgun. He is going to fake it to Williams, throw it far side to Newsom, makes one man miss, makes two men miss, and Newsom to the pylon for the touchdown. Individual effort and a great one by Daz Newsom for six. Who did they and me and you need that? Hooker will throw again. Heels bring four. Surratt gets through, bothers the pocket, and eventually Hooker is dropped. Tamon Fox and his little bro Tamari get off the bottom of the pile. 8.59 to go. Carolina up 49-37. They'll keep it on the ground with Carter. Carter sprinting to the near side. Gets a great block in front of him. Carter off to the races. 25, 20, 10, 5. Give him six, baby. Michael Carter having a career day. And he hits pay dirt for the score. Virginia Tech will just take a knee to end the ball game. And Carolina in a top 20 matchup of unbeatens. Carolina wins by a couple of scores over the visiting Virginia Tech Hokies today. 56-45, the final score. I, I do think that uh, um, you, you've got to quit feeling pressure to be something uh, because you are what you see on film. You are what you do in the game. And, and we can be perceived as something, but until we're showing it, we're, we're not. And, and today we were a really good offensive football team and, and I thought at, at, at times a real poor defensive team in the second half. You know, the offensive line did a really, really good job uh, just from start to finish of just pushing the defensive line and getting to the second level and giving those guys space. And when you give those two guys space, they can go through the house on every on any play. So, and when they do, when they're doing that, then the uh, defense has to bring their safeties down. Um, they got to press up a little more, and that opens up the stuff down the field. So, I think we got a really good balance today, uh, as far as on the ground and in the air. Um, so, yeah, definitely having that good running game. That's something we want to get established in every single game. It just opens up everything else. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. 2020 has been the year of the unthinkable, and millions of Americans are struggling to put food on the table. So Wells Fargo is helping our neighbors feed their loved ones, using some of our locations as drive-up food banks and helping provide 50 million meals for Americans in need. The unthinkable has happened. Now it's time to rethink how to make a difference. Wells Fargo. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. It's Ford Truck Month, and if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to $10,765 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is, too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. 
There have always been popular players, of course, for Carolina basketball, and one of those guys who has always been a fan favorite, even now 15 years after he played, was Jackie Manuel. Just such a nice guy and a key part of that 2005 national championship team. Well, Jackie has been in the coaching ranks for several seasons as an assistant at different stops, including UNC Greensboro and UNC Wilmington. But now Jackie's back in Chapel Hill as a member of the UNC women's basketball staff. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with Jackie and asked him just why now was the right time to come back to Chapel Hill and get involved with the women's program. You have a very long title that sounds like it encompasses a lot of things. What do you actually do? What's your day to day role? Um, day to day, it's uh, the film, film work, um, the recruiting database. And then just coming up with a game plan of helping our women get better uh, as far as the player development. Um, so it's, it's so many things, but it's, it's to me really, and I, and I told Coach Banghart this, is like I'm here to help any way I can. So I, there's no limitation to um, what I can do or whatever you want me to do. I, I just want to be impactful to this program. Jackie, why was why was now the right time to to do this, to, to fill this role, to come back to Chapel Hill? Why was this something that that was attractive to you? I, I think I think it's just for me, it's just God's plan, really, um, just the timing of everything and um, being back at Carolina, obviously, and being part of women's basketball. You know, I've I've enjoyed watching the game and the women's game and just the way it's played, um, to me, is the way I grew up playing the game of basketball. And so I saw this opportunity here, and I was like, yeah, it all makes sense. <laughs> it really does. And and I, I did not hesitate to jump on it. And I, I wanted uh, Coach Banghart to know, like, hey, th this is something that I'm really interested in and not just doing it just to be doing it. You know? It makes me a little angry that Jackie looks like he just walked off the court at senior day against Duke in 2005. Yeah. And I feel like perhaps I do not. Yeah, that's not fair. So this interview, we're going to turn off the video from here forward. I've had about enough of this. Um, Jackie, what did you like about Coach Banghart that made it feel like you'd, you'd be comfortable working in that environment? Just great personality, great energy. Um, and you just you can just feel feel the connection, feel her spirit that, you know, she's all about doing the right things and uh, doing it the right way and just bettering people. And and that's the environment that I wanted to be in. And, you know, um, when I got here, I'm not shocked that everybody on staff is functioning in the same way, you know, just really helpful, really um, doing their part, whatever they can do to make this program the best it can be. Jackie, is there, and I know you're, you're still relatively new to this position, but is there a big difference you've noticed as far as working with, with women compared to working with men, or does it just not, is it just the game at, the, at that point? Well, the game of basketball is a game of basketball, but the, the women are honestly more coachable and, and better listeners. Like they, whatever you ask them to do, they're going to do it in that moment and try to do it the best they can. Um, and sometimes with, on the men's side, it's hit or miss. You know, you, you kind of have to build up to that trust level on the men's side. And that could take forever. But um, what I've noticed here is, like, they just want to get better and they just want to um, please whoever's coaching them, you know, just do the right thing. What's different about the way you remember your recruitment to college basketball as compared to the way players are recruited today? <laughs> no social media. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, um, I just remember a bunch of phone calls and my dad taking most of them. Um, and then I would talk to a few coaches. Um, but the, the, the social media aspect just brings a different dynamic. For these kids and um i don't i don't know if it's a, a great thing or if i or, or if not but um 
I know it's part of the recruiting and for me personally I have to I have to improve on that aspect um you know in, on my coaching side is being more involved in the social media 2020 has been the year of the unthinkable and millions of Americans are struggling to put food on the table so Wells Fargo is helping our neighbors feed their loved ones using some of our locations as drive up food banks and helping provide 50 million meals for Americans in need. The unthinkable has happened. Now it's time to rethink how to make a difference. Wells Fargo. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. It's Ford Truck Month, and if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to 10765 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Time to wrap things up with a trip around social media. We'll find some fun and relevant things about Carolina athletics. Let's take a look. Aaron Fitt covers baseball nationally and does a terrific job doing that. And he's actually located here in the Triangle area and has been able to go around to some local teams and get a preview of those teams uh, as they go through their fall ball. And recently, Adam, he was here in Chapel Hill to check out the Tar Heels. And of course, Carolina now under a new regime and first year head coach Scott Forbes. Really recommend checking out that thread from Aaron Fitt. There's even several more tweets in that thread uh, where he talks about what he saw at a couple of scrimmages. The Tar Heels really excited about some of the new faces they've got. You know about the coaching change because of everything that was going on this spring and summer. You may not know as much about some of the new personnel, but as Aaron points out, he's got the pictures to prove it. Tar Heels got hopefully a little more depth and a little injection of some talent that will see the field in 2021. All right, off we go. We, we're going to go across the pond, Adam. Let's start getting international here for our next few stops on the social drive. And we'll start with women's soccer. Neat moment this past week as there was a Tar Heel for Tar Heel substitution. Tobin Heath came in for Alessia Russo. Russo and Tobin Heath now both members of Manchester United. And in fact, Russo in her first match with Man U scored a goal. Let's take a look. Perhaps meaning that she is likely to come on very soon. Alessia Russo does really well there to get the better of Danique Agde. Can she can go one on one with the goalkeeper? Can she get the first goal for Manchester United on her debut? Yes, she can. Sliding finish, which gives the goalkeeper no chance. Great for her. Really nice play there, Adam, by Alessia Russo, and good to see her having success. And everything's smarter when you announce it with a British accent. <laughs> We've been trying to get Jones to do the games that way with a, a little bit of an English lilt. So far, it hasn't happened, but don't rule it out. Tar Heels cleaning up overseas. Haley Carter 
one of the best women's tennis players Carolina's ever, ever had, advanced to the round of 16 in doubles at the French Open, uh, nearly made it to the quarterfinals, and, and along with Luisa Stefani, they're ranked in the top 30 in the world in doubles, so French Open's still going on, and the Tar Heels making an imprint on that tournament. Adam, I feel like this next uh, topic on the social drive really is, is more up your alley. It is women's basketball and it involves brand new shoes. I know how much you love them. Let's, uh, let's take a look as the women's basketball team picked up uh, some new kicks. The very good news is, is that to, to award, honor, and excite the start of the season, they have all given you a, a new pair of Jordans. Adam, uh, last thing, you have had the opportunity to meet a lot of the Tar Heel freshmen recently from Carolina basketball, getting uh, a one-on-one -on -one sit down with them to learn a little bit more. Those pieces have started to come out. The first one was with RJ Davis. That came out late last week. There's obviously some graphic work there, but there's a video that goes along with that. There was an article Adam wrote too, and so people should keep their eyes and ears open for that over the next few weeks. You're going to get each Friday on the various Carolina basketball social media channels, Instagram, Twitter. You're going to get uh, some features on a different freshman each week. You'll get a story on GoHeels.com, a feature about a, a particular freshman. As Joan said, last Friday it was R.J. Davis. Tomorrow it's going to be Walker Kessler. So keep your eye on, on UNC basketball and Go Heels Twitter and Instagram and on GoHeels.com to learn a little more about Walker. It was really fun getting to talk to him a little bit. So the Tar Heels are 3-0 and overall, 3-0 and in conference play. Another big one next week. They'll be on the road to face Florida State in Tallahassee. We'll have highlights of that game and more next week on the next edition of the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, tastes better. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield IMG College.